fighting in Syria rages on with no end in sight. On the contrary, the war is becoming ever more brutal. The Syrian Air Force has been targeting residential areas, destroying much of the country. Since the beginning of the civil war in early 2011, hundreds of thousands have been wounded and around 31,000 Syrians have been killed. Many more have been forced to flee to Jordan or Turkey. Nearly a half million people have made it over the border. We fled from the bombs. They shot at us from helicopters. They used grenades. It was unbearable. We couldn't live there any longer. All the houses, the whole village was destroyed. So we fled for our lives. We couldn't take anything, just our clothes. We don't have anything else. With more and more Syrians leaving their homeland, the refugee camps are bursting at the seams. Turkey is in especially dire straits, with more than 100,000 refugees to deal with. German diplomats of all fractions want to help countries like Turkey and bring Syrians in need to Germany. If countries are no longer able to deal with refugees, we have to think about what contribution we can afford to make. We're a wealthy nation, and we should come to people's aid and show openness in states of emergency. But the government is hesitating, not wanting to take solo action within the EU. Experts are also skeptical about whether allowing Syrian refugees into Europe would be the right solution. I don't think it makes any sense for people to stay there, considering the majority will want to return to where they came from, except in special circumstances, when people would have no medical care, for example. Arman and Shivan didn't stay. They took their fate into their own hands. They've been in Germany now for several months. It was an arduous journey from their homeland in northeast Syria to Berlin. I fled over the border to Turkey on foot. Then we were supposed to take a boat to Italy, but it sprang a leak just before reaching the coast. The Italian border police fished us out of the water in a helicopter. But on land, the Italians treated us very badly. So we traveled on to Germany. Around 6,000 Syrian refugees also made it into Germany. Most of them are young men like Arman and Shivan, fleeing without the necessary documents. Now they are seeking asylum. Every day we spend here is difficult. I've been waiting for my asylum application to be recognized for months. The situation in Syria is bad. The destruction and death over there brings uncertainty. We don't know how it will go on. As long as their asylum requests are still being processed, they'll be tolerated here. But Europe and Germany must do more if they want to help Syrians in need. Europe has to put on more pressure and intervene and bring in the military. The destruction and death has to stop. It's enough. And Europe should open its doors to refugees. Turkey has a lot of problems and so does northern Iraq. Europe has to unburden these countries. Politicians agree that a military intervention is out of the question. But aiding refugees is up for discussion. If the EU decides to accept refugees, I would recommend we take as many Christians as possible to help garner more understanding in Germany. There's little acceptance here for refugees. And I think we have to make it clear to people in Germany that we're talking about Christian refugees. Saying that you'd like to pick and choose refugees and favor Christians sends completely the wrong signals. Even if you don't say it explicitly, it's clear. Christians fit in here and Muslims don't. When the war ends, Arman wants to go back to Syria. But Shivan never wants to return to where so many of his friends and family were murdered.